Hi guys, Pete here from Ashton's Cars. Today showing you around a 66 plate, that's late 2016 model, VW Golf. That's the Mark 7 Type R. So uh, the Type R is the ultimate golf. This is above the GDI in the range. Uh, it's a 300 horsepower, give or take, hot hatch. It's uh, powered by a two litre turbocharged engine. It's got four wheel drive, um, four motion as they call it. And this particular one is the DSG model. So it's a semi-automatic with a six speed um, transmission in it. So no clutch pedal. You can select those gears with either using it as an automatic or you can use steering wheel mounted paddles, which I will show you. As I say, this is the ultimate golf. This particular one's got a few little extras on it as well. It's got something called a ghost immobilizer, um, which is a uh, an immobilizer, which uh, I will sh I'll start the car shortly, but you, there's a sequence I have to go through to do that, which I won't be able to show you on camera because I do not want to uh, obviously uh, let anyone else know what the sequence is online because it'll spoil it for uh, it'll make the car less uh, less protected. Um, it's also got carbon fiber um, some carbon fiber mirrors. Uh, which I'll show you, just the, the, literally just the covers have been redone in carbon fibre and the rear spoiler is the same as well so that's quite a nice uh, finish on that rear spoiler it's a really nice looking spoiler in fairness it's the original spoiler but it's just been recovered with the carbon fibre the car's got adaptive cruise control um, it's got a you know, full spec with all the climate control stuff you would expect because these cars are over 40 grand when they're new um, you can tell it's an R uh, even though it's quite discreet, there are a lot of spoilers on it and there are four exhaust tips here at the back. But the thing I like about the Golf R is it's not too outlandish compared to other cars like this Honda Civic Type R, which looks like it's crashed through Halford's showroom. The Type R, the, the Golf R really does look quite understated uh, considering the performance it's got. And this performance, I mean, this car's limited to 155 miles an hour. Um, I've no idea what it would do without the limiter on. Um, but it does 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, um, which is just crazy. I mean, when I was a kid, I had Lamborghini Countaches and on my bedroom wall, and they were considered the, the ultimate car, Ferrari Testarossas. This thing's about a second quicker to 60 than those cars were. This is literally supercar performance um, a few years ago in a hot hatch. So it's extremely powerful because it's turbocharged. It's got all that grunt available, fairly low in the rev range. Uh, and it's also got a dynamic drive system where you can change the gearbox and engine settings to make the car behave more like a race car if you want to. Um, I did about 250 miles in this car yesterday, which is why you can see a few dead flies on the front of it at the moment. Um, really enjoyed the drive. Uh, found it very impressive, not just uh, on the A roads, but also just cruising on the motorway because the adaptive cruise means it'll slow down when cars are in front of you. Um, it'll speed up again when the, the flow speeds up uh, you can just set the speed to whatever you want 70 miles an hour and just let the car do all the work for you so it's a relaxing performance car so many hot hatches I get in and you know after an hour in them I've got a headache from the noise and the revy engine this car will settle at like 2000 rpm on the motorway and it'll just cruise along uh, in mere silence and you've got your Bluetooth stream and you've got Apple CarPlay on it as well. So you can have your music playing from your phone. Uh, you can have your navigation set and literally just sit back and relax in the Golf R. So it's a really good car. It's really understated. If anything, it looks less um, outlandish than the GTI. They've done a really good job, especially this one, because it's all in black. There's a few other little details like that they've done the the badge on this one in carbon as well there's a few little extras that have been put on this particular car and then below the number plate there that little square that you can see that's actually the radar detector for the adaptive cruise control so a few little things on this car that uh, make it very appealing i have got i'll just show you under the bonnet quickly one thing i like about the mark 7 golf is it has at least got proper gas struts for the bonnet which not all the old golfs had um there we go. I have got this induction kit fitted to the car. Um, it's pretty inintrusive. It's not really giving you a massive amount of sound. Um, you just hear a tiny bit of sucking occasionally on it. It is a proper one, as you can see, high performance induction system there. Um, I've got the original one though in the boot. 
So if you do prefer to put this car back to completely stock, that's not a problem because, whilst I won't be able to show you how big the boot is, and it is quite a good size, I have got the box there from the uh, induction system and it's got the original induction system inside it. So whoever has this car can have a choice of which one we fit on it and they can keep the other one if they want, either to sell on themselves or, you know, whether they want to perhaps put it back to standard at a later date. Massive uh, brakes on the car, as you would expect. We've got Goodyear tyres all around on the car. Nice set of 19-inch alloy wheels as well. Again, finished in black. It gives it that discreet look. Um, people who are not in the know would not believe, I don't think, this car's got 300 horsepower. Let's just show you the back first. I'll open it up. It's boiling hot today. So... It's a normal golf in the back, really, apart from slightly sportier front seat, uh, sportier seats, and um, it means there's acres of space, plenty of comfort. Golfs are just a great all-round car. So the good thing about a Type R Golf is that you essentially have got the high-performance car, but you've also got a Golf. It's a great car for everyday use. The quality is really good. When you shut these doors, there's a reassuring fud to them that you just don't get on other rivals. So. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump in. You can see the seats are quite well bolstered as well, and they've got this kind of Alcantara and cloth trim with the R um, yeah, sort of uh, embossed in there as well. Let's just jump in behind the wheel. So, when I'm in here, I've got a nice display. It's typical Volkswagen. It's basically the same as you would have in most Golfs, apart from a few changes. You've got the four motion sign by here, and I've got these fa flappy paddles here on my, my sports steering wheel. It is a flat bottom wheel as well. Obviously, it's a proper designated one for the R. Um, nice media system on the car. That's got the, the um, parking sensors front and rear come up on there, as well as uh, things like my media system for my phone and also apple carplay which is really really good i can't say how good that is when you plug onto carplay you've literally mirroring the screen on your phone on here so you can actually access apps and stuff like that on your phone you can actually go through your siri or your your car um talking uh, mode here and you can send messages and emails legally without touching your phone uh, just by talking to the car so it's a really clever system um, we've got a driver mode system by here for the car. We've got um, things like the stability control and we can turn off, if we wish to, the start stop using that button there. I've got auto hold, which means that hill starts are nice and easy on the car. It applies its own handbrake when the car's stationary on a hill. Um, and I've got obviously an electric handbrake to go with it. And obviously the usual cup holders and gubbings that you get because under the skin, this is a Golf. Now what I'm going to do very briefly is just let you have a look at my view here while I start the car. Because I actually have to do a little sequence to start this car and I'm not going to show it on camera. So if you just amuse yourselves for a second and I'll start her up. There we go. The Golf is now running. And that's part of a ghost immobiliser system that I've got on this car. Essentially, if you don't do that correctly, the car will cut out when it hits 32. Sorry about that, guys. My phone then cut us off because uh, it connected up to this um, rather splendid uh, entertainment system that I've got in front of me here. So, first thing I'm going to do is just put the fan on a bit. I am absolutely roasted in this car and it's got brilliant air conditioning, so we'll turn that down. I've got heated seats, though, for the winter if, uh, you know... I've probably use them more than the aircon in this country but it's nice having the aircon today believe me uh, i've got my phone system by here where i can dial numbers call people i haven't got the apple carplay set up on it at the moment so i'm just going through the conventional volkswagen system but i have got built-in navigation on the volkswagen system uh, so if your phone hasn't doesn't comply with carplay you can still use this essentially uh, and i've got my media system on there as well as the radio so i can play um, the rolling stones off my mobile phone right now um, and that's really good. I've got obviously I've got iTunes on my phone, so I've got an unlimited amount of music I can play. Um, I've got these driver modes here. By pressing this button, I can select through uh, normal, comfort, eco, race setting as an individual. If I put it in race there, all of a sudden my engine has just gone up a gear. I've got things. Um, I can even do lap times and stuff on the car. But uh, right now, I don't think I'll put it in race. I think I'll just select normal for a minute. 
in that um, stop start off though, just to um, so we don't sort of end up with the engine switching itself off while we're stationary here. It's a great car to drive, guys. There's a trip computer on it as well. I could go on all day about it, but it's essentially um, got everything you would want on a Golf. Um, the full sort of pack that you would get, including that amazing adaptive cruise control, which is which allows me to actually set there the distance between me and the car in front as I'm driving along. Um, and and it's got a 300 horsepower engine and four wheel drive. It handles and performs better than any hot hatch I've ever driven, and I've driven a lot of hot hatchbacks. I used to import a lot of very quick stuff out of Japan um, many moons ago, and this is definitely, definitely a lot quicker than even the Evos and the Impressas I used to import back in the day. It's devastatingly fast, but it doesn't really shout about it so much, which means that, to me, it adds to the appeal again. I'll just take you back inside the car quickly. And, I mean, the thing is, even out here, it is very, very quiet, this car. I'll give it a rev. Um, there's a little bit of a burbling on the overrun there. Nothing too dramatic though. This is a car that looks respectable and respectful when you're driving it. But you'll have a grin from year to year. And also you'll have a lot of fun. Even people in your dust who think they've got an equivalent car because there's very little in the real world you can keep up with a Golf R. So if it's of interest to you, please give me a call. My number's 07932. 873646. Uh, happy to take a pal exchange on this car. We're also happy to arrange delivery anywhere in the UK. So please uh, don't be put off if you're you know far away from us. Give us a call. We'll work out a deal um, where we can deliver it as well. That number one more time is 07932 873646. Please give us a like, please share and subscribe to our channel for more vehicles like this and more car buying advice. Let us know what you think of the, the, the Golf R. What would you rather, a Type R Honda or a Golf R? Or is there another rival, perhaps like the AMG 45, that would be more to your liking and your tastes? Personally, having driven this car, I would have the Golf R. But let me know your personal thoughts on it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, look after yourselves. I hope to see you soon.